What's going on HFAM? It's been a while since we made a video, but we've been hard at work working on some new products. So today I'm showing off the Explorer Moneymaker backpack. And yes, these, these do look like just standard normal backpacks and, and you can use it just as a normal backpack if you want to go to school or whatever. But it's got a few tricks up its sleeve that we're gonna go through. So it is called the Moneymaker backpack. And that's pretty cool because now this allows you to carry one, two or three cameras on the outside of the bag. So I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna flip this one around right here. So what we have on this backpack, we have, first of all, we have camera leashes, okay? So now I can add a set of camera leashes and just carry a camera in the center position just right here. Perfect, comfortable, well balanced with the backpack on the back and a camera in the front. It isn't pulling forward, it just sits normal, which is very cool. But you've also got a choice to, to carry sliders on either side of the strap. So here, I've got a slider on either side so I can have a camera here, a camera here, and a camera in the center, or one camera in the center, or just one there, or one there, whatever's most comfortable. But the cool thing is, you've got a standard backpack that can carry things like, you know, an umbrella, jacket, snacks, water, just normal things that you might wanna carry and having all your cameras on the outside of the bag ready to use. Cause see, that's the thing about backpacks. They are comfortable and they're awesome, but you have to take them off to get your camera out and use it. Or you're wearing a normal backpack with a neck strap and it's pulling your neck weird, it's not really comfortable. Or I've even seen people wear actual money makers with the backpack on top. Again, it's not gonna be comfortable on your back. You're, it, it impedes some of the, the camera movement. So in this case, you can carry a normal backpack and have cameras on the outside of the bag. There's nothing like that that's ever been made. It's the first of its kind and I'm really excited about it. And then we make a series of uh, accessories and things you can add to the bag to build it out even more. So one of the things that we offer, have been offering now for a while, is our Sightseer camera bag inserts. So it's like they're padded inserts you can put into any bag. Well, if you pair this with this backpack, now you got something pretty cool. So I'm gonna open up this bag so you can see how I've got it kitted out right now. You've got your front adju adjustment straps here. So you can dial in how tight you want this flap to be, but then after you buckle it in and make it as tight as you want, then you can just use your magnets to get in and out of the bag, which is super fast and super easy. When you get really good at it, you can just close the bag and it catches the magnet. I didn't hit it just right that time, but a lot of times I can flip it over and the magnets catch and close. So it's really fast to get in and out. Now, this is paired with our sights here bag inserts. So you can see here, I've got this great little insert. It holds a cable here. I've got a full camera there. And then I've got two more inserts. So I carry my bag with three inserts total, two medium wide inserts, and then one large insert. So the large insert is just tall and long. I keep one of my Leathermans right there in that pocket. And this I'm gonna carry lenses, I'm gonna carry pouches, just batteries, any, you know, Swiss Army knife, anything like that might go in here with my lens. And then I'm gonna carry one more camera. Again, I've got another pocket tool here. And this is scissors. Look, don't knock me. I've got three kids. They're always into something where those scissors are handy. So yeah, my bag's got plenty of tools in it. That's just how I roll. Uh, so I'm gonna carry my Sony A9 in this one. So inside the bag, I can carry extra lenses and gear and be fully compartmentalized and padded. Now that's an extra, that's an extra addition. That's our Sightseer inserts. So now going through the bag itself, I've already pulled some stuff out. You can see I've got some tool pouches on either side. They connect to the side parts of the backpack. So the, each, the backpack has, a, has a, these connections, lash tabs is what they're called, on either side. And then there's two more on the bottom of the bag. So you can hook up a tripod to the bottom. You can hook, hook up a tripod in this pocket and use the tab on top right there to hold it together. A lot of different ways to carry like a small travel tripod or even a larger tripod. You can roll up blankets or jackets on the bottom using our lash tabs. Each bag is gonna come with two of these and you're gonna run that through here uh, to hold things in, put it on the bottom as well. So the, the bottom of the backpack has two of those there. So that way you can really just dial in what you really wanna carry in the bag. We've got on the flap itself, you've got a front zipper pocket, super handy, throw small things in there. And then there's kind of like, almost like a hidden large zipper pocket. So this whole backside is a full zipper pouch and just throw things that you maybe not need quickly or all the time, but you will need them, um, can go in there. Inside the bag here, we've got another little zipper pouch that's fully removable. Throw other gear in here. If you don't want to use it, you can pull that out. If it's just in your way, you can take it off. Or if you're doing video work, you got a little mic or, or cables, stuff like that, you can just pull that with you and bring it with you and leave the bag somewhere else. Now going inside, we have a full pocket here, along with 
little gear pockets right in there. So we've got pins, Leatherman tool, whatever, just quick access things right there. Now also the bag has the two side pockets, a pocket on either side, and I wanted to point out again, we have the lash tabs, and I've got my Western gear pouches. I, I use a large one on one side, and this carries two batteries. I've got a Sony battery and a Leica battery in this pouch. Now in this pouch I've got, which clips right on, if you can get the metal clip, it just clips right onto these spots and holds, and it just locks in, does not move. I put chapstick and some small things in this one. Now I'm gonna point out, I do have a flag patch on my bag. That's not gonna come on your bag. I mean, if you wanted to have a patch and you wanted to send me a patch, we could sew it on. But your bag is gonna come not with a patch on it. I just do that for all my own personal stuff. Now I'm gonna put this one on really quick and, and I'm gonna hook my cameras to it so you can see how it looks with the cameras on and how I use it. All right, so now I've got the bag on and I wanna point out too with these shoulder straps, they're larger here where there are a lot of the you're gonna get a lot of the pressure from carrying a bag is right through here with fully lined with 100% wool felt padding. Super, super comfortable. And you're gonna get these D-rings right here which are handy just for sunglasses, hooking things too. I always put my camera leashes to, to them. And even when I'm not gonna carry a camera, because one thing I love about it is this gives, if my back, backpack is just super loaded out, I can pull forward like this just to relieve some pressure or tension. Or while I'm walking, it just kinda is a comfortable way for my hands to rest. So I always keep my camera leashes attached and on and Oftentimes, I'm just kind of walking like this, which I really love. But the main purpose that they're here is to carry a camera. So I'll hook my Leica here. I generally, when I'm gonna be carrying multiple cameras, I'm generally gonna put my smaller camera in the middle. It's just more comfortable for me. But uh, there isn't any weight limits, per se, in terms of what you wanna put on the side of your uh, D-rings here. It can handle any kind of weight you wanna throw at it. So right here, I can, be, I can go all day, you got my camera right in the front, ready to shoot, and my backpack in the back in case I need anything. For instance, uh, we went to Silver Dollar City a couple weeks back with the kids, and I, I brought this backpack. I had a camera on either side, which I'm gonna hook up in a minute, and I kinda left the bag empty for any time they bought something or they had water bottles. We just, my bag became the catch-all throughout the day, and it was absolutely perfect. I can carry all my cameras and then just throw gear as we needed it in there. So, now, how I've been lately carrying everything is, two or three cameras, and I've been going a video camera. on the. I've got this, I've turned into full camcorder dad mode. Like, it's crazy. My kids are getting older, and I'm realizing I'm, I just don't want to miss anything, and I'm already missing them as they're getting older. It's like, okay, in like three years, I got one that's gonna move out or something. It's, it's crazy. So I bought this little Sony camcorder. It goes with me everywhere. So I'm gonna hook it right to my strap. So that one's on on that side, and then I'm gonna grab uh, my Sony A9. So I'm either gonna go Leica or Sony. Uh, as my main still cameras. So we'll hook that right on. Now, I'm fully hooked up. I've got three cameras ready. Pull come right up, use the camera like this, or what, how I love to use it is I'll pop this out, and now I'm pushing against my strap here, and it provides crazy steadiness. So I'm, I'm shooting just like this. I'm looking at my video screen. It's very comfortable, but it's just super, super steady. So all my, all my video footage of the kids is really steady. Uh, other camera over here. I'm right up there right to the out of shoot. And of course, you do have your safety catches. You can hook on the side of the camera. It keeps you safe in case anything were to happen. And then I got my middle middle camera right here. Now, when you go to order this backpack, you've got some choices here. You can, you can choose just the backpack without the ability to carry cameras on the outside. It's a little bit cheaper. And if you're not a photographer and you just want the bag, that's awesome. We make that option for you. Or you can choose to get the two sliders to go with it. Now, for the sliders, you've got a choice between three different sliders. First of all, we've got our standard moneymaker slider. It's going to get our shackle, which this is very popular, um, very common, and a lot of people love the shackle. It will come with these shackles. And the cool thing about this shackle is you can actually use this to carry other things here to hook to. Or you can select the universal slider. So we have a universal slider on our website. And what's cool about this is it's got a little buckle in the back. You can adjust the length of the slider, but also you can customize how you carry. So if you like to carry peak design or QD clips or any other connection, you can use this, just buy the slider and then add your own hardware to it. That way it can still fit with your ecosystem, how you like to shoot. The next option is our brand new magnetic slider. So that's what I've got on today is the magnetic slider. So you just can pop your camera off like that. Very quick, very easy, very fast, or just use the magnet and it just pops right back on. You hear that click, and look, that sucker is completely locked in until you choose to pull it off yourself. And this will support over 110 pounds. 
It's silent, it's light, it's fast, there's no swivel, it does some awesome things, but you just need to take into account how do I want to shoot, how do I want to carry my cameras, because we give you that option. So when you, in the drop down menu, you can choose what slider you like, and then you can even choose to have a full three camera setup, which means you're going to get the two camera leashes and the two sliders. Another great feature to this backpack is how you can customize the fit for the shoulder straps. So now I talked about how, how the shoulder straps are fully lined in the felt, which is awesome. It's very thick, it's very, very, um, just very comfortable. It disperses the weight really well over the shoulder. So that's why I went with this design. But also, depending on how you're built, like if you're really, if you're like a barrel chested kind of guy or just wider, however, you can customize where this padding is gonna fall on you. So of course you can adjust it like all backpacks on the side to get the right length and fit. But then we have a buckle on the top. So we've got a buckle here and a buckle here. And on this top buckle, you can actually undo it and roll the strap more forward and hook it up here to where right now the padding is pushed forward or pull it all the way back to where the padding is more back here. So you can customize the fit and where the padding falls on you. When I'm shooting full three camera, what's cool is I've got the balance effect of the backpack on. So nothing is shifting, nothing is moving, everything stays exactly locked in on your body and just stays super comfortable. So that's why we call this the Explorer Moneymaker Backpack because it's really combining the best of, of all those worlds. You can carry your cameras, you can carry your gear and everything stays locked in on your body. I can't wait for you guys to try this out. I know you're gonna love it.